All right, so just a quick little update on the the shaders for DOSBox video. Like I said in that video, the first one I downloaded and the first and only one I had tried at that point was the Aperture Grill. And uh, since then I thought I would go back and try a few others. I tried this Kelly Gary. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I tried this one, you know, the next one on the list, and um, honestly it didn't look much different. <laughs> And so uh, I was looking through these, and I noticed down here, if I would have kept reading, they actually, you know, say right here, this is, you know, someone that tweaked or ported some of these CRT shaders, and, you know, he recommends this fake lots for game resolutions up to 640 by 480. This fake lots, L-O-T-T-E-S. <laughs> Again, I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. You know, Aperture obviously is supposed to be an Aperture Grill, right? Someone in the previous video mentioned that they don't really like the super, like, big scan lines. Also said he wanted it to look a little more blurry, which I get. That's fine. That's a great option. And this fake lots one actually does that. So let's take a look at this one. Now, right away, you can see... There we go. Now, right away, you can see it takes a minute for uh, OBS to catch up. Uh, as you can see, this is doing a thing with the geometry where it's trying to emulate the curved like geometry of a round you know, CRT tube. And I don't usually like that, especially when it's aggressive. And I would say it is um, kind of aggressive here. But that aside, whether you like that or not, this like look, you can barely see the scan lines. Uh, actually, you can't really see them at all. But yet it still has like a, it has a slight blurriness to it. So, um, let's check out Monkey Island 2 with this. I'm going to do ad lib emulation. I think in the first video it was trying to do some sort of MIDI emulation and I, I said it was ad lib emulation. I called it out wrong. It didn't sound like MT32. Proper MT32 emulation in Monkey Island 2 sounds absolutely outstanding. But it might have been playing General MIDI, or it might have been playing like, it might have been playing through an MT32 emulator, but it didn't have the right sound fonts, is kind of what it sounded like. After I went back and like heard it, I was like, oh, geez, yeah, that wasn't OPL. I don't think that was OPL. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, this is a much softer image. You actually still, you, here you can definitely see the scan lines, but they're not as pronounced as they were in the other shader, in the aperture, CRT aperture shader. So the scan lines are definitely there. You can definitely see them in the gray and on the skin tones on little guy brush here. Uh, but yeah, not as pronounced. Again, a little bit of blurriness in the pixels. I, I, I like the way this looks, honestly. Let's get Guybrush out in the open here. Where he's not scaled down. Right here's a good spot to look at him. And uh, yeah, it's a little softer, and the, and the scan lines are a little less pronounced. I can see why this one's recommended. I can see why people like this one. Again, I'm not huge on the curved geometry, but yeah, it's uh, this looks pretty awesome. And it's just an example of another shader. And again, there might be more than that list shows. There may be more that work, but I don't know. These ones have been modified I think to work in DOSBox properly and changed to all the you know common DOS resolutions and handle them properly but you know it's not like I've checked them all out even the ones that are in that list on that DOSBox shader github page so I can't say I've only at this point I've tried three or four um, but this one definitely stands out if you don't like those scan lines being too pronounced and you want the image to be a little softer, this one is definitely worth checking out.